Hi everyone, Chastity here. Welcome back to my channel. I have baby Judith here because I want to talk about something with Judith and share a haul. And I have an outfit I want to change her into. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you my haul first. And then as I'm changing her, I will tell you what happened with baby Judith. So... I, sh I got this for Owen, and this is so cute. Like, he's going to look so cute on this. Oh, crap, my washer's, like, really noisy. Hold on one second. Okay, I'm back. Sorry, that washer needs balance. Anyways, I got this sweatshirt, well, sweater, with the Grinch on it, because it's super cute, with this little hood on it, and this is a um Target haul, so... It's a little Christmas sweater with the Grinch. And it's for Owen. I can't wait to put that on him. Because I really, really love that. I bought this. And this is what I'm going to put on Judith. It's a little mustard yellow, like, overall with this, like, dark blue button-up onesie. So that is from Cat and Jack. I love cat and jack clothes. Oh, it has a little headband, too. It come with a little headband. So those were, like, two of the, like... Well, besides, I bought some hair clips. And headbands. Let me see. Headbands. And the other items I got on... I scored on clearance. For some really good prices. Um, I think they're all Cat and Jack, actually. So, I have this really cute. Three to, it's a three to six, so it's for the big, bigger babies. It's got this little bloomer on it. And it has headbands, and it has this shirt to go with it. It says, my moon, my sun, my moon, my stars, my whole universe. And that is so cute. The bloomers have buttons on it, like... Even this on Judith is going to look really cute. And then I got this one for Ava in mind. Oh, that one outfit was only $3.89 on clearance for this. You guys should check out your Target. So I got, these were all on clearance. So I got this for Ava and the bloomers have like little ruffles on the butt. And it's like a little tank top, little shirt. And I think with a cardigan, that will look really cute. And that was $4.19 for that outfit. So I got that. And then I got this for Owen in mind. Because it is a zero to three. And it's like this little pastel plaid shirt onesie. And then the little overalls that are blue isn't that cute um like look at the little suspenders it's more like a suspenders type thing because they they button actually they come off of the the bloomers so that's really cute um and that was eight dollars on clearance so it was regular sixteen dollars so i got it for half off so i thought that was a good price for that in those clothes. So, and then Target has a cartwheel right now for spend 40, get $20 off. So, you know, for the headbands and these two um, pieces of clothes, because these were both full price and the headbands, I mean, that's my 40 there. So basically, you know, I got all these for free. And I bought the kids a couple things, so. Anyways, my real kids. Not the reborns. So what I wanted to talk about, Judith. Well, Judith, I don't know if she looks a little different on camera, but she now has a layer of varnish on her. So, my last video I did... I was changing Judith into that cute, um, it was that overall set with the Oshkosh overalls and the, um, 
little long sleeve onesie. Well, later that Saturday evening, I was messing with her and I noticed paint rub off of her finger, which wasn't there before because, um, you know, I did her box opening and I looked her over when I got her. So I'll show you the finger. Let's see if it will show up in the video very well. Right there. Okay. And she's also missing a little bit on this toe. Right there. Okay. And I kind of noticed a couple little minor spots on these fingers that might not have been completely paint rub. They might be were there and I didn't notice it till um I varnished her. Um, but those, you know, that finger and then this toe was the two biggest spots that I really noticed. Um, anyways, I could have then, right then, and, you know, contacted the seller and was like, look, like, there's paint rubbing off this doll. In her, um, advertisement, you know, she was listed as varnished. And, you know, clearly, like I said in that video, she didn't feel like she was varnished. Um, I said that, you know, it was either she wasn't varnished or she had such a very thin, thin, thin down layer that it didn't feel like it was even on there. And it didn't. Um, so... Uh, you know, that, that paint rub is, is the unfortunate of it. Now this is dark. It, I won't keep this on her very, very long because of the dark blue of the shirt. But I think she's going to look cute in it. So, um, if I can get her chunkiness legs in there. Maybe if I unbutton this first. Um, so, I really like her and I didn't want to have to send her back or deal with, you know, possibly getting blamed for... That happens a lot more than you guys know if you're not artists and you're not part of some of the artist groups. Um... It gets blamed a lot. Like our, or, okay, this is not, this is chunky here. It's awkwardly going, it's a three to six month, so it's just, I should have put it over her head. Pull that gently over her hands. Even though she is varnished, I feel like the varnishing didn't like completely like cover those fingers very well. This happens sometimes. I even put more on it before I um went ahead and like you know I I put a little bit more on it. So like I varnished her and then once she was done baking, I put a little bit more on her fingers and toes and then I baked her again. Um. But I'm I'm gonna put a layer of air dry on her too. So let me get her. Sometimes this is hard with reborns it's dressing them because they are stiff, you know, and a real baby isn't stiff when you're trying to put clothes on them. So this is actually might end up just just being it's a three to six month and she's more a three to six month size than a six to month but nine month but you know what this thing looks small i probably should have got the six to nine month so i'm not sure this is gonna go on my maddie because it does look a little small let's take our little headband off 
probably not going to go on any of the natty, but it would um definitely probably fit Huxley, I hope. There we go. It's, I mean, it, it fits. It's just a little awkward getting it on. Um, anyways, back to what I was saying. It does happen a lot where the buyer gets blamed for stuff like that happening. Oh, they must have scratched at it. They were rough with them. You know, they changing their clothes. Like, you're, you know, we all change their clothes. We all dress our dolls. Um, paint just rubbing off isn't a normal thing to do from just changing them one time. Shoot, you can change them how many times before you even notice, like, them getting shiny or something like that. So, um, it's, you know, wasn't, obviously wasn't my you know, I made note of her varnish in that last video. And I'm not saying the artist blamed me or anything. I never even contacted her. So that's why, though. I just didn't want to deal with it. I really like the baby. You know, I really, really like her. And I, I didn't want to have to send her back if it was, you know, a varnish issue and I can just varnish her and fix her her myself and thank goodness like I know how to do that because had I not and um you know this baby ended up selling to somebody that didn't know how to do that that would just be heartbreaking to somebody to get a doll and pay all that money for a doll and then paint rubbing off um and then have to send it back. So, um, at that point I had already reweighted her. Um, which, I mean, wouldn't have been hard to, to take weight out. Um, but I did put gloss on her limbs. So I kind of altered her, per se. Um, so... I should I think that's good uh she's so cute anyways um I did just didn't want to get blamed for it so now you come with this little headband this little headband on her and it was clearly not my my error it was artist error for saying that the doll was varnished and, and, and she was not. And that's a hard thing for me to prove. You know, I can't prove that she didn't have any varnish on her. How do you prove something like that? I could be like, well, you know, this is generally what the varnish feels like. You can't show, you know, there's nothing I can do. Um, so I just, Was like, I'm watching a picture of herself. I really like this baby. Anyways, had I not liked her as much as I did, I wouldn't have went through that trouble. Um. So, that being said. Uh. That's another thing. Is the nail tips missing off of this hand? Like, I'm, I'm wondering just how much was really missed in the final process of this doll like being rushed together so it you know it is what it is I went ahead I varnished her I'm gonna put some air dry on her fingertips and toes and possibly try to fix that paint mistake or that paint missing off of there um, so she has a coat of Genesis matte on her. That's what I decided to go with because I was up and down if I wanted to do air dry or if I wanted to do, um, Genesis. 
so I decided to do the Genesis and I don't know if I even repeated that to lose in track there. Uh, you know, just the frustration of it all to have to go about and do something that, you know, like that with a new doll, uh, when you just really want to enjoy them. Um, but honestly, I, I think I like her more now than I did before she was even varnished because she was really missing that varnish. Uh, like even air dry varnish has, um, it has texture on it. Like it's not like texture, like matte, like Genesis where it's real rough or anything. It's just, you can fill it. There's a fill to it. Um, and she filled plain, <laughs> like plain vinyl. Anyways, oh, I got socks. I'm going to try these oatmeal socks. I'm not sure if they're going to be, if they're going to clash. I hate like real clashing, but they might work. So anyways, I think that is kind of all I really wanted to say. Like I said, I can't say much what the artist would have done or not done. Because I didn't contact her. I just went ahead and did it myself. Somebody, you know, because I had posted the picture on Instagram of the paint missing off her finger. Somebody said, I still should leave a review if I can. You know, so people do, are aware, you know, that something like this happened. Um... You know, it was shame because she's miss she's painting a big Brooklyn that I would would like, um, because I really do like her work. You know, the babies aren't like real dark toned or anything like that, but she's an older baby. She's not supposed to be like real dark or anything. And honestly, my camera does not pick up color very well. It really doesn't. So. It is what it is. <laughs> but anyways, I think I'm going to get off here. And yeah, I just wanted to talk about that. Um, I've said the artist in previous videos. Uh, you know, so. I'm not, I don't want to bash her. Like I said, I don't, didn't contact her or anything like that so um I just went ahead and fixed fixed her uh the fact that I had to now that's a whole another thing you know I shouldn't have had to do that uh you know and, and I know like varnish some artists don't varnish and there's a whole thing in the artist groups about how there will be people on there you don't need it you don't need it I don't, you need it. It's, it's, you need it. It's protect, does protect the paint from rubs like that. Um, you have that extra coat on there. Um, it's keeps the doll from going real shiny, like really shiny. So there are, you need it. Um, it's, it's, it's something you need. And, but it wasn't a case of that. It was a case that it was advertised that she was varnished. So, anyways, rant over. I'm going on and babbling now. Uh, I, you know. It is what it is. I really love this baby though, so it was worth the trouble to me to try to fix her. Like I said, thank goodness I can. And hold her up. There we go. Look at her. She's so sweet. Like, so sweet. She just has this really sweet, you know, peaceful, older baby looking sleep to her. Um, I love her size. You know, she does weigh heavy on your arms after a while, but 
you know, like she's so cute. But anyways, I'm going to get off here and work on my laundry and start to put dinner on early. It's like close to 11 o'clock, I think, or something, but I'm going to, it's soup and it takes a while. So I figure I'll have it going and, and everything and cooked by the time everybody gets home and then I just have to heat it up and serve it so it's like beef soup so it takes a while for that beef to get um you know soft and everything like that I am looking into oh yeah I didn't want to mention I'm looking into potentially getting a car seat I do want to get one, so I don't know if it's going to be now or if it's probably going to be after Christmas, uh, getting a car seat and doing outings, um, cause I think that would be really fun. They would, I don't know how to edit and I use my phone. I'm not even sure there's a way to edit on your phone. I don't have a, a computer to do it with my good camera and then kind of take and you know upload the videos and edit them and stuff like that um my son has a computer i do not and i'm not going to use his to to do something like that so i i use my phone or my ipad so there's a possibility you can do i know i use my camera to take pictures and then i upload them to my ipad maybe there's a way to do that that way but like I would be using my phone if I did outings so how I was thinking about doing it everybody watches to this end and see what you thought um there's a piece of the plastic tag still in there I'm gonna take that out there is um go ahead and do the videos and do them in short so if I do my outing like go ahead and you know, record a little bit and then end that video and then go back and, and do another part where I'm at, maybe at another store and doing, you know, our recording. So they'd be like shorter, you know, more shorter videos. So anyways, I'm thinking about doing something like that. I would love to like, love to take her out. She'd be a fun one to have out. But, uh, I think putting them in a car seat and then kind of like blanketing them up and like putting hats on them and stuff like that, you know, kind of gets the realism and tricks into everything because she has nice blended colors and everything, you know, honestly, she's really cute. And to me, really, you know, her cheeks aren't bright red or anything like that. I think she would be a cute one to to take out. The hair would be the one to probably put a hat on her just to cover up because of the painted part of it. I love the top. Speaking of, I actually rooted some more hair in here. There was actually hair coming out. Um... So I ended up rooting some more into there too as part of my fixing up. The other night was, yeah, a lot of like hair pulled out. It was just like coming out. So I rooted some more hair in here to fill it back in. I had a color that I matched pretty good. So ended up fixing that and sealing that. So she is all kinds of cute now. I adore her. And I'm going to now get off here. I said I was going to. <laughs> I'm glad like if anybody listened to me or listened all the way to the end. Thank you so much because I appreciate it. Listening to me just blabber on. Um. Yeah, this is like darker and like she won't be in this very long. I'll get paranoid about the color dye transfer. 
even though I'm pretty sure that happens after an extended period of time. I'm pretty sure people that get the dye transfers aren't leaving, aren't having their clothes on the dolls for a day or two. They're actually probably leaving them on for weeks. But I don't like to take the chance, so. All right, I'm going to get off here. I think I chatted on a long enough. <laughs> I got to work on laundry and stuff, so. I'll talk to you guys later. Have a good day. Bye.